Your thesis or dissertation research proposal provides an overview of your proposed plan of work, including the general scope of your project, your basic research questions, research methodology, and the overall significance of your study. In short, your proposal explains what you want to study, how you will study this topic, why this topic needs to be studied, and when you intend to do this work. In some cases, you may also need to include the location of your study. Dissertation or thesis proposals are designed to justify and plan a research project, show how your project contributes to existing research, and demonstrate to your advisor and committee that you understand how to conduct discipline-specific research within an acceptable time frame and budget. Keep in mind that most proposals are written specifically for your academic advisor or committee, so it is crucial to understand what they're looking for before drafting your proposal. The format of a research proposal varies between academic fields, but most proposals should at least contain the following sections. Be sure to check with your academic advisor about the specific sections required. Title page, introduction, review of the literature, methodology and research design, implications, reference list, and project schedule. Now let's go through and see what to include in each section. The title page should include the main identifying components of the paper. Include the proposed title of your project, your name, the name of your supervisor or supervisors, your institution, and department. You can choose a working title at this point if you've not decided on a final title. You can decide on the exact wording for your title when you're nearer to completing your dissertation. Nevertheless, even at the start, aim to create a title that conveys the central idea of your investigation. In the introduction, you will attempt to get the reader's attention, focus on your research objective, and demonstrate the relevance of your proposed study. In this section, you should introduce the context of your research problem and demonstrate that your research is interesting, relevant, original, and important. In many fields, the problem statement, aims, and review of the literature are all part of the introduction, while in others, they're separated. Here are some questions to guide your introduction. What is known about the problem? Who does the research impact? What are the population, subject, or area that will be affected by your research? You can also identify who will find this research interesting, such as scientists, policymakers, or the general public. What are your key research questions? A good literature review convinces the reader that your project has a foundation in existing knowledge and theory. It also adds authority to your work as it shows that you understand and have taken into account current research and understanding about your topic or field. Here you will explain how existing knowledge contributes to the conversation on your topic. Additionally, you are showing the reader which explicit and applied methodological approaches you've used in your study. In a sense, you are having a conversation between the existing knowledge and your specific study. This also sets up your study approach rationale in the next section. If you're unsure how to begin the literature review, we have left links to resources on how to find sources, organize your review, and what kind of content to include. Your thesis or dissertation advisor can also be a great resource to turn to. The research design or methodology will describe your overall study approach, as well as the practical steps you will take to address your research questions. Describe the following in the research design section. Research type, indicate whether your study is qualitative or quantitative, primary or secondary. Subjects and sources. Describe who or what you will actually study and give some details about these subjects and where they were sourced. Research methods. List the tools and procedures your study will employ. Practical considerations. Give any foreseeable obstacles due to time scale or resources required. To add an extra element to your proposal and make your research idea shine to readers, include any potential implications of your research related to theory or practice. For example, your results might have the following implications that you can highlight. Synthesizing existing knowledge and creating a bridge between what is known and unknown. Challenging current assumptions. Creating a data-driven basis for further research. Confirming or developing a theory. Your research proposal must include citations in the text as well as a reference for every source you've used or plan to use in the paper. Keeping track of your sources right from the start will help you organize them better. To create and manage your sources more easily, use WordVice's free citation generator, which allows you to create references in APA, MLA, Chicago, or Vancouver style. Depending on the requirements of your program, you may also need to include a detailed timeline and budget for your research project. These will show reviewers that your research is feasible within a given time frame and cost. In the timeline, explain in detail what you plan to do at each stage in the process, how long it will take, and how much it will cost. Although you may not have begun your project yet, 
Demonstrating that you have an exact plan will help convince your advisor or research committee that your project is worth funding. As with all other kinds of academic writing, it is crucial to revise, edit, and proofread your research proposal before you submit it. To improve your chances of approval, you may want to consider using a professional editing service to remove language and punctuation errors, improve your vocabulary, and ensure that your proposal is up to a high academic standard. The length of your research proposal depends on the degree you are attaining and the nature of your study. For a bachelor's or master's thesis proposal, it will be just a few pages in length. For a proposal for a PhD dissertation or research funding, you will likely need a substantially longer proposal. Check with your advisor to ensure that you're following the guidelines correctly. For more helpful resources on writing and editing academic papers, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit wordvice.com to receive the best academic editing in the business. Good luck writing your research proposal and see you next time.